So as long as you are playing this game as a triple threat, you are always going to have to face a pitcher. I wanna give you some tools on what you should be looking for when you're scouting a pitcher. Come join my live free class on how to build a game-changing triple threat. I teach this class often, so make sure you go down below in the link so that you can sign up for my next class at gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash live class. I hope to see you there. You won't want to miss it. So the first thing when we're looking at a pitcher in general, <laughs> whether we have time or not, we want to know what her windup is like. What's her speed? How hard does she throw? How quick is that ball going to get on me? Does she not have the speed? Does she not have velocity? That's also going to be a great thing to think about because if you think about it, every single pitcher has their own windup, their own delivery. So that's going to be really, really important for you so that you can be making sure that you are on time, that you have a good visual of what her windup is so that you can be prepared once you get into that box. Another thing to think about with the pitcher is what types of pitches does she have? So if I have time to have video where I can scout a pitcher a week or two weeks prior to facing her, I want to know her tendencies. Does she mainly throw a rise ball for a strike? Does she throw a drop ball for a strike? Does she rely heavily on her changeup? What counts does she throw her changeup in? So like those are the things that I would think about if I had time to prepare. So sometimes, yes, I'm seeing a pitcher for the first time and I don't have that data to rely on. So now I'm going to make sure that just in her warmups that I can actually, you can start to see what pitches that she's working on. You can start to see the trajectory of the ball. Is she mainly throwing down in the zone? Is she throwing up in the zone? Is she going side to side to the plate? Like try to get those when you are seeing her in her warmup before you go to the plate. If you are not a lead off, if you are deeper in the lineup, then you'll be able to also see the hitters before you in types of what pitches, like what side of the plate is she favoring? What are her tendencies? If she's ahead in the count, what is she throwing? If she's behind in the count, what is she throwing? You can start to pick up on those tendencies. I have a three part mini video series on the slapping basics. Make sure you go down below in the description so that you can get it. So just to recap, some things to think about when you're scouting a pitcher. Main thing, know her windup, know her delivery so that you know timing wise what that's gonna be for you once you get into the box. Also know her speed. If you've had coaches that scouted her and they have charts on her and her actual speeds, look at those. But if you don't have that luxury and you're facing her on the day of, you can kind of visually see her speed and get that timing for her. Is she throwing hard? Is she throwing slow? If she throws slow, I know as a triple threat or a slapper, I'm going to have to start a little bit later. If she has a little bit more velocity, I'm gonna to have to be a little bit quicker in the box. Also too, I want to know the types of pitches that she has. When she's ahead of the count, if she's behind in the count, and also what side of the plate does she favor. All of these things you're gonna to start to take into account. So whether you have a lot of time to gather this information or if you don't have that much time on the day of the game, these are some simple things that you can look at. So let me know some of the things that you guys look for when you're scouting a pitcher. Leave that down below in the comments. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe so that you know when I put out a new video. I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.